hello 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 you guys welcome back to the channel scorpio this is your full reading i'm gonna go a full reading tonight um because i just came home um i was in traffic for a very long time you guys and i just made it home so i'm gonna i don't have any time to do this reading um to do all your regular readings i feel like it's gonna take so long to upload so I'm trying to do um, just a full reading for you in Gemini tonight. So let's get into it to see what's going on with you and your person. Wow, I'm not going to take these. There's so many messages, but let's ask the angels what's going on. Okay, <laughs> What's going on for Scorpio and their person, please? What's going on for Scorpio and their person in a relationship? If it resonates, remember to like this video, you guys. When you like it, YouTube sees that you like it and push the videos forward into a bigger audience, okay? Scorpio and their person. What's going on with Scorpio and their person? Okay. The person that they're thinking about, the person that... They're in separation with the person that they want to be with the person that they don't want to be with <laughs> scorpio person mm. the first card scorpio really that's power wow so for some of you you might have had an argument or you might have had um a growth apart or you might have just had a big um commotion where it just like you just woke up one day and you said you know what this person is just not for me all right some kind of situation where you guys just suddenly broke up okay um let's keep going here mm, they're saying this is a past situation because the ten of swords is here but it's in the reverse so something that you got over something that you had to go under healing for because this took a lot out of you a lot of energy out of you i feel like for some of you you probably was emotionally drained losing your um not eating over this not taking your taking care of yourself over this i feel like you needed time to heal here and this is what you did for yourself okay with the ten of swords um this could also be about, you know, not a relationship, but it could also be about um, someone that's close to you that you had a fallen out with. But this is a love relationship reading. So this is, you know, this is why I'm saying that. So anyway, I feel like the seven of swords is also here. Like you walked away from this person, actually decided to just move away from this person. Some of you drastically just left this person hanging, didn't want to talk to this person. But I feel like they're coming back slowly, okay? This person has a feeling like unfinished business with you, okay? And they want to solve things, whatever they, that might mean for them, okay? Tell me more about this person. This person is very young, at least in the mind, okay? They're very young, but they want a legacy with you, some kind of build. Like they want to rebuild something with you. And this is why they, they this is what they want to tell you. But this person is very slow doing so. They feel like they have tomorrow or the next week or next week becomes into two weeks and three weeks and then a month and a year or more. So they're very slow moving towards you. Then we have the Ace of Wands, and this is what's keeping this person. This is why the Ace of Wands is in reverse. Could only be um, how you feel about this person, that you don't want to be with this person anymore. But I'm also feeling the reason why you don't want to be with this person, because this person doesn't even tell you what they want. Okay, this person doesn't even be serious with you. I feel like you feel like this person is playing games with you. Okay. For some of you, this person was trying to have a family with you and you decided not to. To put something on hold here, a new beginning. You don't want a new beginning with this person. You guys have history here. I'm getting history. So this is why this is this person did a lot to you. This is what I'm seeing. Like this person mentally drained you. Okay? Mentally and physically drained you. Okay? All right. But you gave this person chance after chance. So I see that you're you're in your your prime right now. Like 
I feel like this person even knows it. Like this person is like, you're so beautiful. You got your life together. I feel like this person is like looking up, up on you right now. And they feel like they're not good enough for you. And the truth is they're not. Sorry. <laughs> they're not. They're the page of freaking pentacles and you're the queen of pentacles. Like get it. Let's get, let's get it right. Okay. Wherever you are right now, Scorpio, you built yourself there. Okay. This person made a mistake letting you go. Okay. They have, they, I see it right here in the moon. So let's see. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Six of wands. Yeah. They were acting like they, they were all that. They were acting like they're a player. This person is very jealous over you, by the way, but this is how you are. You got everything going for you. You're beautiful. You're a people person. Well, they think you are. Um, you might be just your job that you have a lot of respectful coworkers that really like you or, um, they see you in like leadership roles. Okay. Like you are just very important. Like you have an important role for some of you, you might be an influencer or you have a large following or, um, you know, you are a model or something like that in the public eye. Like you're well known in the public eye or something like people out there know who you are. You could be a singer, a rapper, whatever. <laughs> but this person, or you could just be a person that works and you just have a lot of, you know, coworkers, friends, people that you have dinner with. And this person is just highly jealous of you, but you put a block to them. For some of you, you changed your number, okay? Or you moved out away from this person. Like this person don't know where you live at, okay, for some of you. This four of swords here, I'm seeing that you're just, you're in a good place right now in your life, okay? A good place. And you don't want any more anxiety from this person because this person gave you a lot of anxiety, y'all. A lot. Not only that, but mentally and physically, you are going through a lot of um, healing for yourself. You're trying to forgive yourself and forgive this person for what they have done to you. You know, when it comes to a relationship, you're very cold. Wow, we got twin flame situation coming in here. I see that you're going to meet somebody new. Okay. This is going to be your twin flame. Yeah, twin flame here. For some of you slept with this person and you cut it off with them. I don't know why. But this is what I'm hearing here because you need time for yourself. You don't want to jump back into a relationship. And I felt like... For some of you, the angels are saying that this felt like another relationship that she wasn't sure about. And it was actually going towards marriage. This person was thinking about marrying you, thinking about um, building a legacy with you. And this person is highly, um, they're, they're on your say, they're on your page. Okay. You both are very attractive. This is you. And this is your person, the person that, you know, you, one of y'all, somebody y'all will see it. Or trying to get to know, okay? Um, but I feel like you guys were intimate with this lover here, okay? Um, they're saying it's your twin flame, okay? This person is not there to hurt you, but again, you know, at that moment. But your your walls is up. The queen of wands. Walls is up. And it's all because of your past. You're passing a ten of swords, that this person did to you. You're not ready to jump back into a relationship, which is understandable, but do not let somebody else grab your blessing. Okay. Look at the signs, watch the signs. I know you're going through healing. You're, you're so in love with yourself right now. You're happy being single. You're not too sure if you want to jump into a, another relationship with somebody, but don't let this person, um, the person that you was with, make you break up with somebody that is, you know, looking to potentially grow a relationship with you. Okay. So let's see what this new person's energy is like. I already know that this person wants a committed relationship with you, but something was on hold and I felt like it was your energy that needed to go through healing. Okay. So let's see. Let me use another deck. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. What's this person new intentions, please? For Scorpio. What's this person new intentions? For Scorpio. Tell me about this new person.
tell me about this new person for Scorpio. Tell me about this new person. If it resonates you guys, go ahead and like the video for Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to take those. New person for Scorpio. I can't shuffle today, y'all. <laughs> One more shuffle and then we start with this person's energy. Thank you, angels. All right. All right. Tell me about this new person, please. All right. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. This person was with someone, okay? We have the seven of cups here, okay? This person was cheated on. Cheated on by someone that they were messing with, all right? Um, the person that they were messing with wasn't ready for a committed relationship, all right? The person that they were messing with came, they wanted to see where things go with this person. Um, this person was very attractive to your person. This new person I'm talking about, very attractive, wanted to see where things go in a nine of wands, all right? But I'm also seeing there was abandonment issues. This person didn't give the time, the time of day, or wasn't serious about this relationship, put this person through a lot, letting them doubt themselves and making them feel like they would never find true love. All right. And the way, the reason why this person did this to this beautiful soul is because they didn't want them to go anywhere. All right. And they, they wasn't, they really stayed and try to work on something because they wanted a relationship. This person that's coming into your life is someone that is ready for a commitment. So Scorpio, make sure you're ready because I know a lot of you are like, I can't wait to get a new person. I'm ready for a committed relationship. Well, they coming. Okay. They coming. Make sure you're ready because this person is not about the games. They've been there. They've been there. And if anything that reminds you of their ex, they're not going to stay. Okay. They're not. This person been through a lot, burnt out, you know, drained. And they stayed with this person and this person constantly cheated on them with a third party here. Okay. They had to learn how to get over this third party. They had to learn how to, you know, forgive themselves for the mistake that this person brought into their life. And because they let this person do this to them because they let this person in over and over again. Okay. This is what I'm seeing here because this person cheated. Cheated with like seven people. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. The seven of cups. Very confused. Very overwhelmed. Doing the most. Unprotected. You know. Not thinking about this person's feelings at all. Okay. So let me see here. What else? Tell me about this person. <sighs> this person was dealing with a lot of manipulation. This person felt defeated in this relationship. This person felt like um, the person that they were dealing with wasn't ready for nothing they wanted to have a family okay and this person could have had abortions okay abortions with their child okay this person wasn't giving them no fulfillment whatsoever no new beginning the relationship wasn't going nowhere but yet this person didn't want to let go they really just didn't want to like have the energy to find someone new and um try to rebuild a relationship over and over again you know yeah look at this a third party this person cheated on this this sweet person with anybody they can't anybody that has legs really anybody that has legs they're running to them giving them a chance <laughs> you know oh my god but I wanted to warn you about something. This person that they're dealing with, they're still around. Okay, I don't see your person um, wanting to be with them. But um, when they meet you, they won't want to be with them. But this person is going to find this person more attractive now that you're going to be around, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so you might just because this person has a lot of passion coming towards them. And they're trying to move out, move on, 
and move forward and end this relationship. And I see them doing that. For some of you, your person is just moving into a new place or had somebody move out of their new place, if that makes sense. But this is what I'm seeing. But they're ending something. Okay? Tell me more. Yeah, see? This person's energy. They're like the, the ex is going to try to get them back with the six of want, the six of pentacles in reverse. They're gonna do everything in their power to get them to come back. Um, but they're not going to change. You know what I'm saying? All right. They're going to give them time, but they're not going to invest or give back to this relationship. But they're going to want to start over. Hmm. But your person isn't stupid. They're not going to buy it. Okay. They're not going to buy it. Their past is always going to be lingering. This person, even though they're moving on with their lives, um, they think about this person because they really fell for this person. They think about the memories, but on the back of the deck, the high, the higher fought in reverse. They're like, I don't want to be with you no more. I want to end this. If we don't, I love you, but you know, it ain't going to work. The strength card is in the back too. They're freeing themselves in the eight of swords, you know, and stopping all kind of new form of reaction. Like whatever they're going to try to do, your, your person is going to stand up for themselves. All right. So, wow. Okay. Let's see your second swatch here. What you and this person, this new person in the future, what y'all going to be dealing with. Okay. Let's see what's popping. See what's popping with you and this person in the future. Scorpio and this new person in the future, please. Scorpio and this new person in the future. What well, Scorpio energy and this new person in the future? What well, lies for Scorpio and this new person in the future? Wow, there is going to be a decision made. I feel like this person has a lot of responsibilities. Uh, all right. You guys are going to go through it. At first, Scorpio, I feel like you're going to want to end this relationship um, because this person is just not being, like, being fair to you or giving you the clarity that you seek with this person. Or about this person. I also feel like in the, you know, this I told you this person is gonna always try to get this person back. I feel like your person lost control of trying to control the situation where trying to block this person from you. Um, and it's gonna cause you to make a very important decision for yourself. Um, for some of you, you might want to end this because this person is just not fair to you. And I also feel like for some of you, you just need time. To yourself okay but I also feel like patience is needed into this connection all right patience is needed here all right I feel like what am I saying feel like you think this is a burden and you're letting this go this person is bringing stress to, to your life instead of making things better Okay, so let's keep going here. But I see peace. All right. Hmm. Let's see here. What I'm looking at. There's always this decision. Like, what is this decision? I'm going to clarify this. But I also see that. 
like there's a decision that is needs to be made here like this person wants to make a decision to cut this situation and to block this immature energy here this lovers okay this lovers that came up and this is the only way the cards are identifying this person is the lover that this person was with okay um this person it wants to be back with them wants to be back and their energy has been cut so your person blocked this person out of their life here's the ace of swords block them out of their lives but i see that they're trying to make problems for you and this person and i feel like you don't have the clarity because your person is not giving it to you when it comes to i don't want to be with this person anymore i don't know why um they're trying to get back with me they're calling my phone or they're even trying to speak to you i don't know why what they have to say because i'm not in contact with this person i'm not seeing them out of work i'm not but i feel like with you you're not going to believe it so I just want to give you an, like, uh, a head, like a head space with that. So when this do occur, you're like, Oh, I remember the scenes. Harold did say something about this and look, okay. So just remember that. All right. Your person, I don't think they can deal with this situation. Like some people, they, they're like, they're strong enough to say like stop don't don't try to call me don't try to talk to me i got a, a, a woman I, or i got a man you know but some people they're very um sensitive to other people's emotions and they're very careful with their words okay because you just don't know when someone or whatever a person is thinking they might hurt you or you they might hurt themselves because of what you said right so um, I feel like this person is morely like afraid of what this person might do because they know that they can't be with this person. Okay. And I don't see that, but you're, this person wants to fight for this relationship. Look, this ex here. Okay. But I feel like your person doesn't want to do it. He just, this, she, he want to make peace with this and they're blocking this, um, energy with this lovers because this person really want them back look at this manipulation this is this is the x the x keep coming up in your future i kind of felt like when i was doing this reading like when i did the second um swatch of what your person wants you to know um with this new person i kind of felt like you were going to go through something with this x it's like going through something with this x and that is your, that's, that's your challenge. Okay. Um, to get to where you guys need to be. All right. It's either you're going to let this ex have your glory, your victory, or you're going to fight for what you want. It's really a test. All right. So the three of, yeah, look at this. The page of pentacles, the three of wands, this ex thinks that they missed an opportunity. Look. I'm, uh-uh. This ex think that I missed the opportunity. It's you, them, and the, the person. And they don't, and the person didn't choose them. The person blocked them. No form of communication. So if your person is telling you like, hey, I'm not talking to this person. Believe them. <laughs> believe them. They don't want no new beginning. No um, clarity. Nothing. Okay. they really, when they meet you, they want it to work with you. I feel like this person don't do one at a time. Okay. And this is what you're looking for, Scorpio, not a player, but somebody who does one at a time. All right. Yeah. The five of pentacles. Ooh, the 10 of pentacles. <sighs> yeah. This person, they block them because of the five of pentacles. Okay. They blocked them because this person left them for somebody else, left them for somebody else. wasn't straight up with them, wasn't telling them the truth. And this 10 of pentacles ended. They tied up this 10 of pentacles, you know, because I told you this person was ready for marriage. This person was ready for children. This person was ready for something serious. And this, this negative energy wasn't ready, ready. <clears throat> Let me just take a sip y'all. Hmm. Yeah, this person was ready. So that's a conclusion for this one. Because what's the conclusion here? Hmm. 
timing, divine timing. Look at the back of the deck in the present moment investment. Your person want to give you whatever you want. Look, look at this. They put an end to the old walking away, moving out, you know, coming in, showing you how they, what they truly want. They have a lot of passion for you. Okay. In the present moment, I feel like for some of you, you might have feel like this person was too slow for you um, when it comes to their ex. And I feel like an apology is going to come forward with this person and they're going to come in um, and express how passionate you make them and they're going to give you whatever you want. Okay. They're going to give you the two of wands, the world, um, the 11 card. Okay. This person is your king of pentacles. Okay. The king of pentacles. This person is very, um, very handsome or very beautiful. Okay. Very well dressed. This person is, um, they don't have to be rich, but they have a good career. Okay. They have money that they could take care of themselves and take care of you. They're ready to invest in a person like them. All right. Um, they're not mean. All right. And I also feel like this person is ready to invest in buying a house or a car or buying a house and a car with you. They probably already have that for themselves, but they want something bigger. Okay. They want a family. Okay. Um, but that's what I see in the present, but in the conclusion for this energy, I do see manifestation here. I see the ace of cups in reverse the world in the upright and the star. So you might just feel like this person ain't ready to be with you. Like it's a, like this person need time. All right. You might just lose faith in this um, situation because you don't want to be hurt again. Scorpio, you don't want to be in the same situation like you did before with your past. And this person is bringing their past in the relationship and you're not bringing your past in the relationship or this message might be reversed. <laughs> OK, because I'm getting all of that. Like some of the you know, when I do messages, it might just be reversed. So take it as it resonates, y'all. But I just feel like someone is very much manifesting, manifesting you. Okay. Because they feel like you're drifting away from them. You know, they feel like this, you know, cause they really just want to give you everything, everything that you want. They don't want to fight with you. They want happiness, the children, the home, the money. Okay. They feel like they're whole with you. They're whole with you, but they need you to have faith in them. They need you to have faith in this relationship for it to work. Cause if you don't have faith in this relationship, why, what, what are you guys doing? You know, what are you guys doing? Okay, so let's see what you want from this person, Scorpio, and let's see what they want from you. All right, let's see the energy. We already know what your person wants, but I like get deep in it. Okay, so let's see what what's popping. Let's see what's popping. Hold on, y'all. Let me get another deck. I got too much decks on this deck. This. I got another deck that I want to use. All right. So, Scorpio energy towards this new person. I ain't going to take that, y'all. This fell on the floor. All right. And it was the 11-11 the card fell on the floor. So... Take it as it resonates, abundance. Scorpio person, please. What they want from this relationship. Did I say Scorpio or Scorpio person? Scorpio person. What they want from this relationship. What Scorpio person wants from this connection. Scorpio person wants from this connection. Okay. Wow. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Well, you know, your person definitely wants a long, stable, committed relationship. They want you, they, they want the passion. They want to be with you. Um, but they want like, they want you guys to balance each other out. This is what I'm getting, but something here is holding them back like something here is holding you guys back i feel like look at this a third party came in this broken heart of this person and it's lovers 
Or for some of you, this person is just like, they want to give you this long, stable relationship. They want the passion. They want you guys. It's twin flame connection coming through here. Okay. But at the same time, they're dealing with this. This in the middle is what's keeping you guys apart. This third party. This in the middle is, is, is like, will it work? Will it not? We don't know because this third party. I feel like what's going on here with this person is that this third party is going to make trouble for them. Trouble for them. Um, they didn't want them. Like this third party didn't want this person until they found you. Okay? Until they lay eyes on you. Because they're not getting no attention, no conversation, nothing from them. Nothing. And they want that back. So what they're going to do, try to mess up whatever you guys got going on because they feel like you taking, you know, they know that your person is a good person. This person is well developed. Okay. And I'm getting like this person, they're not ready for no kind of committed relationship, but they will tell whatever lie they have to. So your person could fall back. Okay. What's Scorpio energy towards this person? Because your person is saying that you always thinking about this third party. Now yeah, that's what it is. The sex is going to be great with y'all, but, but they have a love for you. A lot of love, like to the point that they know what they want with you. And it's you and them. That's what they want. They don't want, it's not like this person is confused. We got soulmate connection coming through engagement for some of y'all okay for well, scorpio energy towards this third part <laughs> y'all y'all gonna kill me in the comments for well, scorpio energy towards this relationship not this third party scorpio you don't want to know nothing about this third party uh what well, scorpio energy towards this relationship please what's their feelings towards this connection scorpio what is this? Oh, Lord, Scorpio. You, you ready to walk away from this person? Oh, Scorpio, you think they lying to you? Oh, look at that. The Ace of Swords. You cutting this person out of your life. Oh, my goodness. The Ace of Swords. And that's what this person was afraid of. Look at that. Because they, they're saying the third party is in the middle it's like this person doesn't want to say get away from my relationship i don't want to be with you nothing i feel like this person highly don't want to hurt this person's feelings but it's like this is what you want them to do you just don't get it why can't you say it is either you want to be with this person or not you know this is what's going through your head but your person don't want to be with them they want to be with you they want love with you. They, they want fire with you. They want everything with you. But I feel like for some of you, you think that this person is still sleeping with this third party. It's the lovers here. It's the three. I'm getting that too. But you don't believe in nothing they say. This 11-11 with abundance is in the, uh, the reverse. We got the sun in reverse. I mean, you're like, you're not happy with this person whatsoever you're not feeling them or you're just not Scorpio oh what follows on the back yep look at that you're cold as ice you're cold you don't want to talk to them you don't want to communicate with them um but there is something in the present moment that's trying to work but there's like no communication between you two maybe you guys still have sex that's about it once in a while but you don't want to move forward with this person. You feel like this person is holding back the truth or lying to you. You're running from this person. Yeah, that's what it is. Seven of Swords. Running from this person. Running from the uh the running from your your marriage or your future marriage. Look at this, the two of wands. This could be your daggone future spouse, husband, whatever. You just running from them. You don't want to deal with this stuff that make you unhappy. You don't want to deal with the negativeness of this relationship. Okay. 
All right, so that's what I see. Let me see the advice. And then we're gonna tie this all up. So I'm using so much deck, y'all, but really I have to, I have to. All right, what's advice for Scorpio and this person? Oh my goodness, Scorpio and this person. Scorpio, you gonna let somebody take your blessing? Mm -mm. You better not. Scorpio and this person. You better not. Scorpio and this person. Not when they want to be with you. Not when they love you. And not when they're faithful to you. Scorpio and this person. Advice. Scorpio and this person. Advice. What do you want Scorpio to know? What should Scorpio and this person know? All right. Wow, Scorpio. This person is going to do everything in their power to work it out with you. Okay? Um, sometimes they're going to feel stuck, like they don't know what to do here because of your coldness in the, oh my goodness. Some of y'all have an, um, really bad, um, arguments. Um, but this person's going to give you 11, 11. I do see a lot of downs. Why am I seeing like this person? Oh my goodness. There's a third party coming up here. I'm not trying to say this, but I hope not. This person, this, this three of cups is in reverse. This person might just fall back with, because I'm getting like, this is what's going on. So, okay. So Scorpio, the advice is this person really is going to fight for you and do everything they, they have to, to get, to assure you that they want to be with you. But in that reckoning with you, like not making any moves in the chariot. Okay. Not making any moves and basically abandoning this relationship. This is you Scorpio, all you listen, your person is going to give you what you need. But you are going to abandon this relationship. And because of that abandonment, this person in the present, they're just thinking about, okay, if you think I'm cheating, then I might as well do it. Because you don't want to be with me? Well, <laughs> who they going to be with? The ex, okay? I'm seeing this person not even happy. Look at this. I thought this was your energy, but it's not. It's the ex. Recklessness, coldness, um, balanced. This person takes, but yet it's a third party. It's a third party. They're going right back into something that they don't want. It's the, the mistake, the 11 card, a mistake. And they're lonely. They're going to be lonely forever. Lonely forever. No emotional attachment. This person is just there to make problems for you and this person. So you will leave. They will have what they want. And this person is going to be so unhappy. So unhappy and they already know it, but you know, they try with you and they're saying that you don't want them. So you're not going to make any moves. You're not going to say yes. You're not going to say no. You're just going to abandon the whole relationship. This is what I see. Damn Scorpio. I thought I was bad as a Scorpio, but you bet. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, this is what I see. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do, y'all. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. The advice is, Scorpio, be careful, y'all. Be careful. Do not let the devil steal your blessing. All right? Like the video if it resonates. Comment below, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.